Hey everyone, Maria here. Welcome to my health channel, my Heal Thyself channel, uh, where I speak about detoxification, health, and how to heal thyself. Um, today I just completed a 36 hour fast. Uh, 24 hours of it was a dry fast. Um, oh, the orange juice is so incredible <laughs> when you uh, when you break that dry fast with just a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice. It's like heaven. Anyways, I wanted to talk a little bit more about part two of my healing journey. So I do continue to heal, and uh, many people ask, you know, aren't you done yet? Aren't you healed? You've been on this journey. You've been writing about health and detoxification on social media for years. Aren't you done yet? People just, a lot of people seem to just want to be done with it so they can continue on with their toxic lifestyles perhaps, I'm not sure. But for me it's uh, other foods, there's not much I'm gonna really return to, you know, like maybe some steamed vegetables as a treat you know, things like that, some big leafy salads, but uh, for the for life, I mean, I'm, I'm fruits. I, I freaking love fruits. I've experienced the power of fruits. Fruits have done so much for me. Um, so has intermittent fasting and a mucusless diet beforehand. Um, anyway, so I want to talk a little bit more about part two of my healing journey. So. I've spoken uh, numerous times about what I have healed, you know, from from depression to migraines to skin issues to cysts to anger to alcoholism to uh, chronic nail biting. Um, so much. I mean, I, I've even healed uh, cavities in my teeth. Yes, I'm not a person to go to the dentist if I don't have to. The last time I went to the dentist was about five years ago when I got my mercury fillings removed, but before that even, I mean, I've been to a dentist maybe three, four times in my entire life, and most of those visits were just for a cleaning, <laughs> but I don't need to even, you know, go for a cleaning anymore because fruit's clean. Uh, fruits, you know, they're the most cleansed, like, after a fast, <laughs> my teeth are like insanely white and uh, I only brush with water and maybe a, sometimes I use a little clay powder or some uh, what do you call that uh, the black stuff the charcoal the charcoal or I even tried some sage powder I do these little tooth powders but besides that um, yeah uh, teeth health improves as you clean up your inner terrain and you heal your body and this is done through the fasting, the fruits, the mucusless diet, etc. Anyways, so back to what I've healed in the past. Yes, I've healed a lot of health issues, mainly from here down, but uh, I've always had these swollen lymph nodes. My tonsils have always been swollen to a chronic state, and this is revealed in iridology. Um, I have a lot of head congestion still, and when I fast and when I, um, when I, cleanse, which is a lot lately, um, a lot of this head congestion, I can feel it and it slowly starts, you know, trying to get out. Anyway, so in the last, say, six months, these swollen glands have finally, after years of cleansing and healthy diet, they've finally um, gone down to about half the size, which is amazing, a huge breakthrough. And this is what's given me more motivation now to stick with just fruits, I'm not even doing my favorite evening salads or anything, um, and once they've gone down, I mean I have mo moderate kidney filtration, which is good, which means I'm healing, you know, slowly, but uh, so these lymph nodes are like little septic storage tanks, and if the waste can't get through them, if they're not functioning properly, then it just builds up and builds up. And I've always had a lot of head congestion and, and headaches and, and swollen uh, lymph nodes here. And anyways, <clears throat> so I've just actually completed, like I said, a 36 hour fast and 24 hours of it was dry and I've noticed that they've gone down even more so it's such a slow process I've been wanting this to happen for years and I'm one of those people that can't get sick and it's not because oh I'm so clean it's because I 
am so locked up because my lymph nodes aren't um, functioning and doing their job properly that this congestion can't get out, it can't drain out, and that's why it was draining through um, my scalp previously. I'd get a bit of dandruff or it was coming out in uh, my gums where I, I used to have some inflammation there, which is healed now. But anyway, so it's slowly getting out now, slowly draining. I'm doing some lymphatic drainage massage and things like this, but I cannot wait for the day that I get cold and flu-like symptoms. Now most people are like, I got a cold and the flu, what am I going to do, what can I take? And I'm like, bring it on, I need a cold, I need a flu, because as soon as this happens, I know that that's when my body kind of unlocks, releases, and just starts pouring out. And where is all my congestion now? Mainly in my head area, so once that starts draining, I mean, I'm not going to say I'm ever going to be done healing, but that's going to be a major breakthrough and as far as I'm concerned that's sort of the last um, issue that I kind of really need to contend with and so once that starts draining and I get a cold and flu I'm not taking any vitamin pill or supplement to suppress that uh -uh. I'm going to let it out I'm going to probably stop eating at that point yes I will fast um, of course hydration is key because that's how I'm unlocking all this congestion to begin with is my continual ingestion of fruits and fasting and, and hydrating and breaking and a loosening and healing anyway so when I do get these cold and flu like symptoms I will be the happiest miserable girl on the planet <laughs> because I will literally probably make a video and screaming about how ecstatic I am to get cold and flu-like symptoms. And like I said, I'm not gonna take any vitamin C or look for anything. I mean, if I have a headache, I use a little peppermint essential oils on the back of the neck, um, and I rest, maybe do an enema if, uh, if, if it's really bad. Um, other than that, I just wait for it to pass. So, um, in a nutshell, I just wanted to speak about what I had left to do on my healing journey, I guess you could say, and I'll never be finished. I'll always start my day off with juicy fruits. Um, I'll always be on a high fruit diet, if not a 100% fruit diet. I just don't like to say I'm a fruititarian and I'm on a 100% fruit diet because I know how often things change and, you know, so I'm not going to put any labels on myself, but yes, I am on a 100% fruit diet. I have been for quite some time now. Um, I did have a period around Christmas um, this year and, well, last year, and uh, when I went on my vacation a month and a half where I started eating other vegan foods, but besides that, uh, before that, and now, I'm still on 100% fruits. That's where I feel best. I mean, sometimes now, for my evening meal, because I do feel like something savory, I've been having a big bowl of cucumber noodles. I'll literally just shave with my peeler a huge bowl of cucumber noodles, probably two cucumbers in total without the skins because I don't trust the skins on these cucumbers. I didn't grow them. Um, and then I'll put uh, the tiniest little bit of cayenne on there because I love cayenne. Um, just a tiny bit though, enough for circulation but not enough to stimulate the mucosa and initiate immune response and you know create some acids and mucus going on. Um, and then I'll put lemon on there and oh, it's and sometimes a little celery salt that I made. I dehydrated it in my dehydrator. I just dehydrate up celery. I grind it up and that's my salt if I ever want some sodium. Anyways, so I'll have this big bowl of cucumber noodles with a little sprinkle of celery salt um, and then the lemon and a tiny bit of cayenne and it's amazing. Anyways, I'm getting totally off topic. I ramble. I could go on forever. I've got a lot of ideas for videos. I want to talk about skincare, I want to talk about um, like uh, my homemade eyeliner, um, all kinds of things. I've just got so many ideas for videos so please like, share and subscribe. Um, it does inspire me. I, I plan to make a video every Sunday now. I don't want to make them longer than 10 minutes so this is almost 10 minutes so <laughs> I'm just gonna end it here and say thank you for watching, for listening and um, I have a lot more in store for you so please like share and subscribe and happy healing everyone and don't forget 
fruits are amazing.